Okay, that bad boy right behind us is an FA-18 flown by none other than the world-class Blue Angels. And joining us is Captain Greg McWhorter from the Blue Angels. You're the boss, you're the flight leader. Thank you very much for joining us. It's Thanks an honor, it's a privilege to have you. Um, can you run us through what exactly that machine is capable of? Uh, you betcha. You know, the F-18 was, uh, was designed 30 years ago. It was designed from the ground up to do a number of things. First of all, it's both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground capable. Uh, most importantly, is it was designed to be a very user-friendly aircraft with growth potential. You know, this very aircraft that, I, that, that I'm flying right here uh, is well over 20 years, uh, but it's still flying great. It's got great components in it, and it's maintained by some of the best men and women in the Navy and the Marine Corps. It flies by one, uh, Mach 1 1.7, 1,200 miles per hour. That's right. What kind of training goes into this? You're, you're Top Gun. You're the real-life Top Gun, right? <laughs> uh, I, I did go to Top Gun, and I was a Top Gun instructor for th for three years. Uh, that was that was a few years ago. Um, but uh, you know, in order to become a Blue Angel, we have a very strict selection process. Uh, everyone, from an enlisted man or woman all the way up to the officers, uh, put in an application, and then they are picked not only because they're they're very good at what they do. Anyone who applies for this job has to be capable of of, of, of doing the job. Uh, and what we always say is, no no matter who you are, if you're a Navy, Navy a sailor, or Marine, you're capable of being a Blue Angel. Uh, also, a big part of it has to do with personality. Uh, and how you represent the Navy and the Marine Corps. Uh, we travel about 300 days a year, so we're, we're together all the time. So we have to be able to get along as a team. Uh, so personality is a, is, a, is a big deal. Captain, I'm very humbled by the fact that I'm gonna get to be able to fly with you guys. That's great. Um, for an untrained civilian, what does that type of flight, what, what does that do to the human body? Well, it's, it's tough. It's a workout. You know, most of the folks wonder why we're sweating when we get out of the jet after a demonstration because it is a pretty good workout. Uh, first of all, I'll tell you, just enjoy it. Uh, it's like a roller coaster ride, uh, although a, a bit extreme. Uh, putting a, a human body in a fighter aircraft for the first time is a very unnatural thing to do. So, so there's a chance you're going to feel queasy. They're gonna, there's going to be a chance that the G-forces are going to make you lose consciousness a, a, a little bit. You're going to be in the, uh, in the very capable hands of the Lieutenant C.J. Simonson, who is our narrator and also the one who get, gives out the VIP and the media rides. Uh, uh, it's going to be it's going to be a fun time. Uh, it's going to be eye opening. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. So, um, how many times have you watched the movie Top Gun? <laughs> <laughs> well, believe it or not, as as uh, uh, shameless as it is, that's one of the reasons that I joined the Navy. You know, I was a senior in high school when Top Gun came out, uh, and I always knew I wanted to fly. Always knew I wanted to be a military aviator. But boy, you know, when a movie like that came out, it was great for a high school senior. I was like, wow, naval aviation, that's what it is. I want to take off of aircraft carriers. I want to do that sort of thing. So uh, it was a big deal. All right. I'm very excited about being able to go up with hey, you, Captain. Thank, thank you very, very much, much for your time. Enjoy I appreciate the flight. it. Thank you very much. Enjoy. All right. You guys stay tuned for more. You're watching Sunrise on Hawaii News Now. Here we go, baby. Start to the proper attire. After a brief run through of the rules, the do's and don'ts, it was time to suit up. I'm actually the second person to fly, so I get to watch as Moanaloa High School football coach Ardo Martinez takes off for his run. Get his input. My bag's empty. Woo. That's a small. Not very reassuring, but soon right. it's my turn. Daniel Pasquale from the grounds crew straps me in and tells me what not Perfect. to touch. The FA-18 Hornet is an amazing machine, capable of going Mach 1.7 or 1,200 miles an hour, and well worthy of my respect. It runs me through a few breathing exercises before we get underway, and then we take off. This is what the crowd sees, and this is us. Lieutenant C.J. Simonson shoots us 1,000 feet into the air in two seconds flat. Now keep in mind, when the Blue Angels fly in formation, they're about 18 inches apart wingtip to wingtip. So because they need to be so accurate, they can't wear those bulky G-suits. So to combat the G-force, they squeeze their legs and core muscles and breathe. It looks kind of like this. As we round out the backside of this looping maneuver. I know, pretty pathetic. But Lieutenant nice Simonson work. takes me through some simple exercises. There. There's the Immelman, the Diamond Roll Simulation, and the Split S Reversal. Pull. He even takes us to Mach There's 1, or about 750 7 miles an hour. Here we go. We're going to pull. There's sustained 5.7 Gs. But my first big test comes with a G warp. And as you can see, 6.7 Gs right. is neither easy Woo! nor pretty. Right. You guys want to see what this thing is capable of? Right now, we're going 350 knots. So far, so good. 
After that, we practice a low altitude bomb delivery, which is basically what they do in an attack. And while I'm in pain, the lieutenant is just fine. In fact, he's still got his sense of humor. All right, now we'll do some victory rolls to see where the bomb went. <laughs> now we don't do this in combat, but this is just something fun to do for all of our friends. We hit 7.4 Gs at one point, and when it's all done, I'm just happy to be back on the ground. Now, as amazing as he did, Lieutenant Simonson expects and even wants young aviators to be gunning for his job. Because we're not going to be here forever. We've got to replace. We got to replace us. You know, no matter how much, how well I eat, how much I work out, I'm not going to be here forever. So we need to get that next generation into the Navy and the Marine Corps. All right, I'm a little sore. I lost it for a little while there, but because of my good performance, can can I get a Top Gun high five? Of course you can. All right. Yeah! <laughs> what do you even practice that? <laughs> that was awesome. At home. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, oh that's good stuff. <laughs> Departure Blendel 7 passing at 3,000 per second. Here we go. All right. Now we'll do some victory rolls to see where the bomb went. Now we don't do this in combat, but this is just something fun to do for all of our friends. Oh, there you go. There's some papers. <laughs> do you have all that stuff? Yeah, yeah. It's around here somewhere. Yeah. That's all our. Uh, that's all our maps to get back home. No big deal. Yeah. No problem.